Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Tanya Nature Sounds and today I am presenting you Elvis my green chick conure this beauty over there is only three months old and he has just spent his first night in his new home as you can tell he's a little bit uncomfortable still with me at the edge of his uh, of his house he can he couldn't find his friends this morning but he's doing good i would say he's adapting pretty well feeling all fluffy this morning all ready to start his day yeah did you have a good night's sleep you hey elvis say hi we um, almost did not get him yesterday from the shop, from the bird shop, as uh, we were told that he's too light, so they normally don't, don't sell them when they are so light, so he had to gain some weight, and uh, that's why we, uh, we have to feed him well, we have to... Uh, keep him still in his little pretty travel cage as opposed to his big fancy house over here he has to spend his first week in in his little home over here so that he can gain some some weight some fat mm -hmm. just to make sure he's developing all right and that he's healthy so that's why we were given instructions on what to feed him so he and his ball, he's got the baby food, basically. And then, as a main recommendation, we were told to, um, to boil some, um, some peas for him. So that's what we have here. So that's just some uh, beans and peas mixed with other seeds, uh, also with sunflower seeds. And this is a more of a fatty kind of food for him, but that is done on purpose so that this little guy over here can gain some weight. So I'm just going to try and put this ball in the back of his cage. He doesn't like when I do that. But now he's got his food over there. Doing good. Uh, we also have another bowl with um, sunflower seeds. These are also uh, fed in themselves. Mm, Want a bite from me? So I'm trying to give him some of the food from the bowl. But he doesn't trust me yet. Hmm? He's still a little bit scared. Mm. Maybe, maybe. No. No. It will take some time. Yeah. Until we get that trust. Right? He's still afraid of my hand. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe. Not yet. Huh? It's too early. Poor guy woke up this morning, no flock of the same kind around him. And this lady over here is trying to give him some food. That's way level up, isn't it? Isn't it? And last but not the least, we've got his water over here. Like that. So he's all set for his new day, right? Um, so we were told to make sure that he's got enough food, that he's got fatty food, especially in his cage, so that he can gain his weight. And that's what we do. Um, we got him only yesterday, late afternoon. And according to his first hours at home, he did a good job. 
he uh, he was eating and according to me he was eating a lot uh, he was happy with his food he was happy with his home so far from what I've noticed as he was happily playing on his ladder over here he was happily jumping from one perch to the other he even uh, made some sounds to us so he let his voice be heard so that is all uh, all positive the ladies at the shop were also very generous with him they uh, decorated his cage really nicely so he's got plenty of stuff to do now in there they gave him a little fluffy bed over there in the back the green cozy warm clothes i'm not sure if he used it from what i saw this morning he slept next to it he also has two perches in his cage so it's one in the back where the food is and one more here in the front but he's sitting on his uh, on his uh, big chewing uh, <laughs> hard component stuff and he's chewing on the metal yeah that's what we do So far very happy and very proud of him. He's doing a good job adapting very well with his uh, orange tummy. I think uh, these days will be a start of a very long lasting and very strong friendship relationship. Elvis, say goodbye to everyone and hope to see you back really soon with more upgrades on with more updates on how Elvis is doing what Elvis is doing what did he play with lastly and maybe even some speech bless you